In this uh, part, we will now start with the actual segments. In the previous uh, video, we saw how the human skeleton is classified into axial and appendicular. We will now take up various uh, parts of axial skeleton first and then we will come to the appendicular. So axial skeleton is what we are talking about and the first part that we are going to study is skull. I have a model also so that we can straight away see the bones in actual position but before that we will write down the number of bones, their names and we'll try to understand the position and then we will come to the model and see those bones. Skull has eight flat bones. So the bones are eight in number and are flat. These flat bones, they are very uh, strong and they are fused with each other. So these eight bones are fused. The joints which are present in between these eight bones, they are immovable joints and these immovable joints are known as sutures. All these joints are immovable and they are known as sutures. So we will also see these sutures. Let us name these eight bones. The first bone is frontal. And this is one in number. There is only one frontal bone and it makes the forehead. So this part of our skull, that is our forehead part, is made up of one frontal bone. Then the next name is parietal. Parietal bones are two in number. In our skull, we find that on the sides, there is a little bulge. So that bulgy bone on one on this side and one on the other side. These are parietal bones. Then there are two temporal bones just behind the ear part or near this ear region. We have two temporal bones. So temporal also two in number. And then there is one occipital bone which is on the back side. So this part is occipital. So one occipital pittle bone. This is also one. There are two more bones which we cannot see from outside because they are in the orbit part. The socket in which the eyes are placed so they make the side and the roof part of this orbit. These bones are known as sphenoid and this is one in number and ethmoid bones. This is also one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Say 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 bones. So these are the 8 bones which are found in the skull region. Again, let us have a quick recap where these bones are. Frontal, the forehead part, only one bone. Two parietals, that is these two bones which make a slight bulge of our skull region. Two parietal. Beneath it, just near the ears are two temporal bones. One occipital which is on the back side and one sphenoid and one ethmoid which makes the part of the orbit. It makes the roof upper part and the side of the orbit that these bones are sphenoid and ethmoid. So there are eight bones in this skull region. Now when we are talking of skull we are actually talking of cranium part here. Cranium part. In the skull region, we said there are many regions. One is this cranium. So cranium has all these eight bones. Now, these bones, as we said, they are joined by immovable joints. These joints, which are called sutures, also have been given names. First suture, which is between frontal or we can say it joins frontal with parietal. This suture is known as coronal suture. The second one is between the parietal and temporal bone. This suture which is on the side 
is known as lateral suture. And the one which is between parietal and occipital is known as lambdoidal suture. Lambdoidal suture. There is one more suture but there is a very simple term which is given to it that is between two parietals. So this is one, two, three and let me write the fourth one here. This is between between two parietals and between two parietals the suture is known as interparietal. So total eight bones in the cranium region of the skull. Cranium region is only this brain box that we are talking of. It has eight bones. One frontal which makes our forehead Two parietals which make the edgy part, slightly bulgy part of the skull. Two temporals which are on the lateral side near the ear. One occipital which is on the back side. Sphenoid and ethmoid, they are in the orbits. And these bones, they are fused with each other with the help of immovable joints. When we make this suture, we normally draw it like this. So it is not a smooth line. It is not a smooth structure and the purpose of having this slightly irregular or zigzag line is that when there is an impact on the skull, then all the bones, they are able to bear that impact or we can say that the impact or the force gets spread out on all the bones. So these are very hard, strong bones and this cranium part has a cavity inside which is known as cranial cavity and in this cranial cavity is present our uh, brain. So cranium part, uh, eight bones and after we see all these bones using this model, then we will come to the other part of the bones which are in the skull region that is facial bones and auditory bones. So now using this model, we will see all those bones which are there in the skull region. This bone which is seen from the front, this one, this is the frontal bone. And as we said, there are two bones which make the bulge of the skull. So this part is the parietal bone. Near the ear, this is temporal and the back side there is occipital. So we are counting these. There is only one frontal. There are two parietals that is on the sides and there are two temporals, one on this side and one on the other side. And there is one occipital which is at the back side. The sphenoid and the ethmoid bone, as we said, they make the orbit part, this depression where the eyes are located. So we don't see it from the outside. Now, as we have also talked of that these bones are flat and they are connected with each other with the help of sutures. So let us see these sutures. The frontal and the two parietals, they are connected by a zigzag line or a slightly irregular connection which is called suture and this one is called the coronal suture that is frontal connected to two parietals is by coronal suture. Then parietal connected to temporal bone with the help of again a suture here which is known as the lateral suture and the two parietals, that means these two bones connected to occipital, again with the help of a suture, this suture is known as lambdoidal suture. And these two parietal bones, they are also connected with each other, they are fused. And that suture is known as interparietal suture. So frontal, two parietal bones, two temporal bones and one occipital. Sphenoid and ethmoid are here in the orbits which we don't see from outside. Frontal connected to two parietals by coronal suture. Parietal to temporal by lateral suture. Two parietals to occipital by lambdoidal suture. And two parietals connected by the interparietal suture. So using this model, we have seen the six bones in their position and also two bones but we did not see those bones as we said they are in the orbit part. So in the skull region we have seen 
the cranial bones or the in the cranium region eight bones six their locations are very clearly visible sphenoid and ethmoid are not visible from outside because they are in the orbit part we have also seen the suture the second type of bones or category which we are going to include here are auditory auditory bones auditory bones are those three ear ossicles which are present in every middle ear so in each middle ear we have one malleus one incus and one stapes that is three bones so these are three and in two ears we have three plus three that is six bones so eight bones in the cranium and six bones which are the auditory bones the next category which we will take up are the facial bone that is in the face region there are 14 bones so this facial bones their names and locations those we would discuss in the next video